Welcome to Mars. Complete Esther's orders. Side objective, create water with the help of terraforming. What? Terraforming manager application. Dear Marco, after carefully considering all of our candidates, we're pleased to offer you a full-time position as terraforming manager here at Foresight. Leland, there's the man of the hour. Glad to have you here with us, Marco. About time you joined us, says Esther. Marco says, thanks guys. It's an honor to finally be here. First couple of weeks on the old rusty rock. Treat you okay? Yep, so far so good. Still wrapping my head around how red everything is. Red's a fascinating color. Some people find themselves in power when they see red. Uh, but others look at the very same color and find themselves afraid or angry. That duality kind of describes Martians in a nutshell. Leland, you're rambling, and we have a lot of orientation to get through. I was going to say, I was like, what the heck is Leland talking about? Right, right. My point is that the people here on Mars have tons of passion, but the uncertainty of the future horrifies them. Okay. Foresight, and more specifically, you are here to make the future more exciting and less scary for them. Great. That's exactly what I signed up for. Perfect. Esther, you take over from here. Make sure he has everything he needs to get through orientation over the next however many days. Roger that. All right. Good luck out there, Marco. Remember, it's your very first task, so don't stress out over it too much. Oof. So, how are you feeling about everything? Uh, nervous, but not so bad. Leland's a good guy. Easy to talk to, even if we didn't have a whole lot to say. Well, it's your first day, plus these welcome calls are always super short. You get a lot more details once we get out on the work site. Speaking of which, ah, should we get this show on the road? Mm hmm I'd say it's about time. I'll meet you over there in an hour. Okay, let's blow some stuff up. We'll start with these mountains. I do love a good explosion. Me too, why not? Uh, to move the camera, hold left mouse or use WAC to zoom. Mouse or plus minus. Um, okay. Left mouse button to select any tile or building on the map. You can deselect by clicking the right mouse button. Okay. Click on the available terraforming patterns on the right to select or deselect it. Then move. Okay. To the. F move it freely on the map uh, to see the possible outcome when you're ready to terraform. Press the left mouse button. That was easy enough. Now we want a nice steep canyon. So let's get another explosion ready. Okay. I made a canyon. Great. You made a hole. So now let's fill it back up. Base. Okay, next thing we want is a rich source of minerals. I'm sorry, what? Use a create minerals terraform. Oh, terraforming cell. So create min minerals right here, please. Why don't we expand the size of our mineral source? Okay. I don't know what I did. Maybe I used resources from there to help expand this. More minerals coming right up. Wonderful. We'll want to make use of these minerals, so let's build a factory on top of the source. Okay. Now's when we go in here. Gotcha. I'll make sure I wire up every building that needs electricity. And now to connect the factory with tunnels. Oh, wait. We're being blocked by some wastelands. Try putting those shovels to use and clearing the passage. What are we blocked by? 
Oh. Um. Use smooth out terrain. Oh, I bet you it's this. Let's try that. Nope. What did I just destroy? Tunnel. Could be built on sand? Okay. Requires passage. I see a tunnel for access because the people can't just like walk. Okay. And finally, if we want our factory up and running, we'll need people. Build a landing platform so you can receive new colonists. I really don't know what I destroyed there. It's driving me crazy. Old, yes, it's supposed to be, um, graphics wise, it's supposed to remind you of those games. Absolutely. Colonists need homes, so go ahead and build two houses for them. Don't forget, they're required tunnels, electricity, and pipes. Let's let's get pipes. Let's get electricity. And of course the tunnels. Oh, you have to walk through their house to get to that house. This whole tunnel connection system is brilliant. Okay, migration. Ten new colonists are looking for a new home. It's great that we have free houses. Prepare for them. Colony morale is okay. We have enough landing platforms to accommodate everyone. Okay. So, yeah, a new ship is coming, and we got a bunch of new people. Esther says, it's all working. You're a natural at this. In that case, I'll send you the details on water terraforming. So try creating a lake with liquid water on your own. No help from me. Sure. I can figure this out. Remember, if you ever need a refresher on terraforming, click the encyclopedia. Got it. Go on and move things forward and when you're ready. Okay, terraforming. Create minerals, create water. Ground plus create water equals permanent ice. What if we do two right here, though? Oh. Uh. I like the idea of that. Let's now connect it. Beautiful. Lots of power. Can't go wrong with good old dependable wind energy. Almost there. Just move ahead when you're all set. I'm I'm not all set. I need to terraform. Oh, wait. I already made water. Okay. Yeah, we're all set. Let's go. Next thing. That's it. I couldn't have done it without you, Esther. It's not. It's not. That's not it. Victory. Well done. You completed the objective. Create water with the help of terraforming. I thought that's what I did. Proceed. Unread files in chapter one. Okay. Uh, let's just take a quick little look at chapter two. We're only a little ways into this game, so I think it's worth spending a some time in chapter two. All right. Now that Margo's here, let's get this show on the road. Margo, I'd like you to meet Victoria. Victoria, do your thing. Greetings, Margo. I'm Victoria, the head technical engineer here at Foresight. Your reputation precedes you. In a good way, I hope. It's great to meet you. Uh, Victoria runs our R&D department. You, you'll be constructing your first real colony today, and Victoria's going to make sure you don't burn it all down. I assure you, nothing shall combust on my watch. Esther says, I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Victoria. Plus, I'll be there too. Ah, uh, prodigious. 
per, 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 prodigious? Cut diamonds on those jawlines, right? Look at their jaws. <laughs> prodigious. We're now 33% more vigilant. You're going to get your first look at how we feed the Martian population. Let's, uh, some serious botany, one of Victoria's many specialties. Mainly here in a supervised, take it away, Victoria. Right, first things first, land a ship at the specified location near the mineral rich deposits. Ship, here please. Sounds like a good strategic spot for the base. Now we must prepare uh, to receive new colonists. We'll require a landing platform, two basic houses. Habitats. I'm going to put the houses here. Uh, build the pipe. Build the pipe. Landing platform go here, please. What did I miss? Power? Power. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I need to do to let the migration happen. We have enough landing platforms to accommodate everyone. Let's get 10 new colonists. Technology tree. Now, colony is leveled up. So now, spend science to learn new technologies to unlock new buildings and modules. An extra slot for terraforming storage. Cool. Uh, science and whatever that thing is. And now I present the tour de force of Foresight R&D, the technology tree. By be begin by researching energy conservation. This will allow us to construct solar panels. Yes. Solar panels. Please research solar panels. Uh, this is really robust. So much technology. Prodigious. Now we'll require three solar panels. Solar panels obviously require sunlight, so avoid constructing them in the shade. Over here, I guess. Colony is beginning to prosper. Now we require a factory. Factories deplete resources over time, so they won't last indefinitely. Makes sense when factory coming right up. Tunnel connection. Pipe. Reinforced pipe. This rate, we should aim for a larger population. Construct two water condensers to stockpile liquid water for the colony. Strong terrain. How do I terraform? New terraforms arrive in four days. New terraforms arrive in two days. So I just, I can't connect. Hmm. I guess I could try moving houses like here here just because then it'll work. Yeah. We'll just do that right now. Because I can't terraform through there until we get more. I just also I didn't want it to all be like on top of each other like this, but Fantastic. With a greater population we'll need to produce food and water to feed our colonists. First the water pump. See that lake? Research the appropriate technology, then build a water pump. Then we connect them with pipes, right? Affirmative. Research. Already research water extraction. Yes. Okay. Okay, but I don't think I can connect it with bikes. Oh, 
crap, I shouldn't have done that. So the water pipe requires reinforced pipes. Let's try speeding up a day. Get more resources. Okay. Reinforce pipes. I would like to... Oh, wow. Interesting. So I can flatten this. But in order to do so, I have to build a mound here. You see that? That's very interesting. Okay, so it required reinforced pipes to get to the base, right? Or maybe we should just do it the whole way up. I don't know. Oh, it wasn't wired. That was the problem. My bad. <laughs> uh, fine work. You may have noticed that after we build the water pump, the fertile soil surrounding the lake disappeared. I've got you. Here's one water terraforming set heading your way. I guess we'll try that. It said that this was a good spot for it, so. Many thanks, Esther. We'll also need to melt some of the stored ice into water, if you will. Right. Burn terraform. Kind of like that one. Gives us sand there. And then these are the fertile soil. Yeah, storing these terraforming sets sure is handy. Exquisite. Now you've ha uh, you'll have you have to build and connect four greenhouses. You'll likely need a population of about 30 to complete this. And you may face the occasional wasteland. Just remember the shovel terraform is king when it comes to clearing passages or creating a fertile soil. Otherwise, I will let you handle this endeavor alone. I should be able to pull this off myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. When do I get my terraform? One turn. Let's just go ahead one turn and get our terraform. And let's just see about terraforming this tile right here. Yeah, like that. And then now, instead of having to build all new ones, we could just connect these. No sunlight building is in the shadow. That's not good. Okay, we need to connect to power and there's no way for us to get through here. Uh, okay, it's fine. Yeah, we're gonna have to terraform again. When's our next terraform? One turn. New terraform arrives in two turns. Okay, then let's skip ahead. Let's get our new people. They're gonna land. And then we should be able to build up here like this let's rotate it and put it in there and now we can connect this in and now our greenhouses need tunnels my bad oh no you all see what i did 
There's no way to get tunnels to the greenhouses. And we've been playing this one for too long. We got to move on to another one, but I would say that this is super fun. I like the fact that it's hard. Um, I Yeah, Squid, you're right. Also, I think that in terms of the puzzle elements for the game, the limitation of not having too much terraforming at once is a good thing. Sign of a good game that you want to go back and replay. Yes, exactly. Exactly. The fact that I'm like immediately like, oh, I could I could do that right. I could do it better next time. Like, and I want to like retry this level shows that the the strategy puzzle nature is very engaging. Um, it's not just a base builder, but you're balancing terraforming with base building. But there's this like turn-based nature to it that's really cool like building up to the next terraform and i definitely think i would play more of this 